understand the Bayes theorem, we first want to go ahead and we want to talk about uh, conditional probability, something that we have already done earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and focus on that one. Now, let us try to understand what is a conditional probability. So when I say probability of A given event B, this implies that event B has already occurred. And given that this event B has occurred, what is the probability of event A occurring? So we know that one event has occurred. Then we ask ourselves, what's the probability of the second event occurring? Now, here what is happening in case of Bayes' theorem is that there are many such events. Event A, event C, event D, which have to occur after event B has occurred. But the point is that these events, they are mutually disjoint events. They don't have anything in common. So it's like saying, okay, given that I have got myself vaccinated, there are two mutually disjoint events that can take place. Either I can get COVID or I can not get COVID. So these are the only two things that can happen after I get myself vaccinated. So these two events, this and this, they are mutually disjoint events. They don't have anything in common. And these two events together, they exhaust my entire space, right? Getting COVID and not getting COVID are the only two options. So together they exhaust the entire space. Similarly, when I say that, let's say that given I organized a, maybe some kind of party, when I organized it, then, given that the party was organized, I'm asking what is the probability that in that I will win or in that I will lose or there will be a tie. Now, these are the three things that can happen. I will organize this party only if it rains or maybe only if it does not rain. So given that it does not win, I have one event that has taken place. What's the probability that I will win, lose, or tie? These are again disjoint. They don't have anything in common. And together they exhaust the entire sample space. So I am saying that let E1, E2, E3 till En, let these be mutually disjoint events. They should not have probability equal to zero. They should occur. It's not that they don't occur at all. And we are saying that let A be one such event, which is the out of the union of these events. So out of many of these events, I pick up one and that is A. I am asking, given that this A occurred, what is the probability that one of the EIs would occur? And that can be written like this. And this is the Bayes theorem. So what do we do in the Bayes theorem? Probability of EI given A is reverted. You invert that. It is equal to probability of A given EI into probability of EI upon all possible cases. So that's the total probability. In the denominator, so suppose let's say that I'm asking, given that I got myself vaccinated, what is the probability that I have COVID? So I will say this is the probability that given you have COVID, then you got vaccinated into the probability of getting COVID 
upon given you had covid then you got vaccinated probability of covid given you didn't have covid you got vaccinated probability of not covid so in the denominator you will get all possible scenarios this is your scenario e1 this is your scenario e2 if there were three you would have taken all three so taking all possible scenarios in the denominator now let's take this example in 1989 there are three there were three candidates for the position of principal c a and s whose chances of getting appointment are in the ratio 4 is to 2 is to 3 so you are given that a c and s are the three people 4 is to 2 is to 3 so you just add this together right you get this so this means that a is chances 4 by 9 c is 2 by 9 and s is 3 by 9. the probability that mr c if selected would introduce new educational policies 0.3 so given that c is the principal the probability of him introducing nep this is given to you as 0.5 and then it says given that a is selected the probability that nep is introduced is given to you as uh, this is 3 by 10 5 by 10 and the next is given as 8 by 10 it says what is the probability that there was co education actually this should be nep only in college in 1990 so what is the probability that this co education was introduced mane it is not asking you any conditional probability it is asking you the total probability so it's asking you the total probability so in a way it is asking you to find this denominator so what would be the answer to this well the probability that i will have any p when are the situations i can have any p there are three things that can happen either the first individual gets selected s or c or a when s is getting selected given s is getting selected i can have nep with probability given to me plus given c is getting selected i can have probability of nep with this plus given a is getting selected i can have probability of introducing any p with this i add them together and i get the probability of any p as a whole so basically very very simple i am saying probability that this introduction of any p will take place is either it takes place with c as the principal or it takes place with a as the principal or it takes place with s as the principal so this first one is given that c is the principal what's the probability that any p is launched into probability that this will be the principal plus given that a is the principal what's the probability any p is launched into what's the probability a is the principal given that s is the principal what is the probability nep is launched into probability of this person being the principal just put these values and get the answer this is finding your total probability if in the question it would have said the following so this is the probability that when one of them is selected as principal nep is introduced principal nep is introduced but suppose in the question it would have said that look nep is introduced what is the probability that it was in, instead individual a who introduced nep nep is already introduced what's the probability that a introduced it then you would have said this is probability nep given a into probability of a upon the total probabilities 
total probability we have already found out this is this 23 by 45 so in the denominator i will put 23 by 45 given a is the principal what's the probability of any b this 5 by 10 and what is the probability that a is introduced this 4 by 9 I will put these values and this will be 20 by 40, 90 upon 23 by 45. This will be 10 by 23. So if you see, once I know the total probability, I can go back and I can find any of the conditional probabilities also. Now you go ahead and later try that given NAP is introduced, what is the probability that S was the principal? Given NAP is introduced, what is the probability that C was the principal? Just try these later. <laughs> 